Um, so I'm here to support the people of Bahrain who in the face of massive repression are calling for democracy and I'm here to show my anger that David Cameron's been supporting the regime, not challenging it on human rights but arming it with more weapons with another arms deal this week of typhoons. We've got a massive arms fair coming up in London in September and it looks like the Bahraini government's going to be invited to that as well to buy yet more weapons. And that's not the relationship the UK should be having with Bahrain while it's killing its people on the streets. And we want to be here to show support for the people that are taking such brave action to call for democracy. Our government is so used to prioritising arms sales and weapons sales above human rights that it's willing to invite torturers here to shop for more weapons. So we saw Bahraini representatives at the security and policing um, arms fair in March and arming themselves even while people are involved in torture with serious evidence that they've been involved in torture directly. My message for King Hamad and Al Khalifa is our, our, our Prime Minister might welcome you here but we don't and the people of Britain support the people of Bahrain and we will stand in solidarity and stand with them while they challenge injustice in your country and fight for democracy. To the people of Bahrain, I want to say that ordinary people in Britain really support what you're doing and we want to do what we can to challenge the way our government is making things worse. David Cameron was hosting King Hamad at number 10, but he wasn't challenging him on human rights. He wasn't speaking up for the people calling for democracy. He was trying to sell more weapons. He's traded silence on human rights for more profit for arms companies. It's shameful that the UK is involved in propping up dictatorships. It's shameful that we're lending legitimacy to a regime involved in killing its own people. And we're here to stand in solidarity with everyone in Bahrain who's taking the brave stand and calling for democracy in the face of repression that the British government is supporting. Providing them with arms, with security training, is still supporting the tortures in Bahrain. Cameroon, you will see! Bahrain will be free. 